welcome back to another episode of Market Markup. This is Lance, co-founder of BH Capital Enterprises. And what I do at my business is I teach people how to navigate the markets using price action. In other words, I teach people how to read charts. Uh, so what I've been doing during the month of July is every single day I've been putting out a video breakdown of a random ticker, whether it be a ticker that I chose or whether it be a ticker that comes from you guys. And I put it out to the public. Uh, you guys can, you know, go back and look at my previous videos. Um, I've been doing market markups for um, a few months now. So, uh, but during the month of July, I really just buckled down and focused strictly on uh, market markup. But um, anyway, if there are some tickers that you'd like for me to break down, feel free to put them in the comment section. I'll put them in the queue. Uh, and this, although I'm recording on the 27th, this is day 28 of um, the 30-day chart challenge that I've been doing. Um, and we're going to get into SBA Communications Corporation. So those cell tower companies. Um, this is this yearly chart. And if you look at the pre previous video on CCI, you'll see that there are similarities between both yearly charts. Um, this one is in phase two of the market cycle, so very bullish right now. Uh, and I'm going to um, mark 2020's low and as well, not low, but 2020's closing price as well as 2020's high. Uh, the closing price is 282.13. So I'll mark that. 282.13. Label this appropriately. Close. All right, and then uh, 2020's high was 328.37. So so far the price has been holding above that um, level. So, you know, of course, throughout the remainder of the year, that would be a level to be watching on this yearly chart, uh, 328.37. Uh, it's not significantly more than that now. So, you know, keep that in mind. And we're going to label this one 2020 high of year. Okay, so as you can see, a good amount of that price action during this year has been between those two levels. But uh, anyway, we'll go on and see. Uh, but first, let me let me see something here. I don't think that's really significant right now. Yeah, let's just move on to the. Um, monthly chart okay monthly chart um, you can see recently over the past uh, several months it's been on a nice bullish move here on the monthly chart um, nice uh, decent breakout so far of that high of, of 2020 um, and that just happened recently this month, unlike uh, the last video, CCI, where July was just simply indecision. Um, this one, let's see, when did they report earnings? April? Hmm. I would think that they would have earnings coming soon, but uh, looks like it's going to be early August for this company. So uh, running, you know, in anticipation of, of that earnings announcement. So look out for AMT first on um, Thursday uh, and just pay attention to what kind of impact that could have on uh, the price action for this company. Um, let's see not really seeing much else uh, but I can mark this 
area here showing that that recent uh, trend on the monthly chart so let's make that purple um, yeah so so far on the monthly chart this is the trend represented by this purple trend line um, so I would pay you know close attention to that as we move into as we round out July and move into the month of August so for bulls in my opinion what would be nice is if during the month of August to start off the price at least opens above that 2020 high year so uh, I'd like to see the price open at least over 328 um, next month uh, but uh, earnings is right there at the beginning of the month so you know I'm not sure what the how the company typically performs when it comes to its earnings so you know that's just something to you know maybe go back and do some research on uh, to to be on alert for um, what else also looks like a uh, an ascending channel here so uh, as you can see the price kind of entered that channel um, last year and uh, recently um, well not recently but early on this year uh, found that bottom support of that channel so this is pretty much where the majority of the price action has been um, over the last year year or so uh, so watch this area between these two purple trend lines on the monthly chart um, the angle on this is pretty steep in my opinion so you know more more than likely you know this this thing could just consolidate out of here um, or it could move up a bit, but I doubt it, you know, in, in the near future, I doubt it get, you know, up to 400 plus. Um, but anything can happen, you know what I'm saying? We'll, you know, uh, I think we'll get a better picture uh, after earnings um, in a couple of, well, next week. So um, let's move on to the uh, weekly chart and see if we can gather some more data there okay weekly chart you can get a better picture a better sense for that uh, ascending um, channel that I mentioned uh, and uh, you can just see where the price is kind of riding along toward the bottom uh, the bottom area of that channel so so far, you know, the trend the trend has remained intact. Uh, but like I said, keep an eye on this 328 area. Uh, the price is only it closed only about 12 points above that. So, you know, not not a very significant difference uh, or spread in the numbers. Um, I'd say, you know, if if they if, if the markets don't take their earnings announcement favorably, this thing is probably going back below 328. Um, you know, and that's, hey, it is what it is. That's just, you know, just, just my opinion. Uh, it'll certainly uh, more than likely break this trend line to the downside. So uh, in, in, in order to do that at this juncture, um, it's gonna have to go below 328 in order to break this uh, purple trend line so the lower trend line of the ascending channel so um, keep keep those two uh, thoughts in mind as well um, I'm not necessarily seeing much else here on this uh, on this um, monthly chart I mean weekly chart um, we do have, you know, maybe a potential, um, rising wedge pattern happening here. 
a lot of times what you see with the rising wedge is a breakdown but it can also be a breakout you know what I'm saying so um, if if it does break out I'm going to estimate you know maybe some, a short term target uh, or near term target uh, maybe you know over the next six months or so uh, and forecast where the price can go based on a breakout of this pattern and also a breakdown you know I think that um, if this thing breaks down and of course breaks below 328 like I mentioned um, there's a good chance that it goes down toward 300 uh, somewhere uh, between you know maybe like uh, 320 to 300 maybe in 3 315 to 300 uh, and maybe even lower uh, so keep that in mind um, let's see here there's a way Just doing some math. Okay. So, if it has a bullish move out of this, uh, this pattern here, then uh, the price can head up to toward uh, 420. Um, I already gave you the potential downside if it breaks down, but I'm just going to go ahead and mark that um, potential breakout area. Now, that doesn't mean this happens, you know, immediately after earnings or anything like that. You know, just something that could potentially happen over time. Alright. There we go with that. Um, and like I said you know if if it breaks down then the price can come down toward you know I'm, I'm just gonna do about 310 starting off um, yeah I'm gonna do about 310 starting off to this one just so I know just so I have my context my overall context as I refer back to this chart um, let's delete this okay so there's that um, let me take these studies off so the chart is a little more clean all right um, let's move on to the daily chart and see <coughs> see if we can get any more information there uh, so yeah seeing some of the same type of uh, sentiment here on the um, daily chart but what I can do here is move this thing down a little bit so this one is looking a whole lot more like um, AMT unlike CCI 
and it looks like it's trying to start breaking out of that um, this rising wedge pattern uh, so I'm gonna do a little more measuring uh, a little more estimating uh, I mean to see where this thing could potentially go So we can put this one at about 380. So on a more shorter term basis and shorter term compared to the weekly chart that we just looked at, um, the price, you know, if it continues this bullish sentiment, it could head up toward um, 380 on this daily chart. So. Actually, I'll make this a different color. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Um, and then as far as, you know, if this thing breaks down, potentially, um, I'd say... Let's see. Into the two nineties, potentially. Does that even make sense? Yeah, potentially two nineties. So I'm going to make this one um target two for the rise and wedge breakdown price is trading in relation to those uh, popular moving averages so um, the 200 is way down here below 290 um, but the 50 is up here uh, pretty much right along with this purple trend line that I drew um, so definitely uh, some uh, confluence happening there uh, which you know basically makes for a stronger case at this level um, so again, as we go into earnings, watch for that 328 level to the downside. Um, be looking for any signs that this thing may continue to rise. Uh, if if that if that is the case, then it, in my opinion, it may be going toward 380 first. Um, but if it breaks down, uh, I definitely expect that it may move down toward 310, maybe even lower. Um, so yeah uh that's i don't have anything else really to say about this ticker uh except you know just to keep an eye on the levels that i provided uh and be watching for amt earnings and also be watching for this company's earnings coming up on august 2nd uh, again if you would like for me to check out any tickers uh moving forward shoot them uh put them down there in the comment section let me know what you thought of this video 
please like, share, subscribe if you have not done so. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Market Markup.